So people told me that this thing's not working for them under the manual mode. And what the fuck? sure that when you put one of these back together and you do it correctly, you just sit around twiddling your thumbs all day long and you can have fun. Okay, so people told me that this thing's not working for them under the manual mode. And what the problem is, is this thing was made nearly 30 years ago. So your, your connections in here might have got corroded on this little switch unit underneath here. And that's what you might not, that's what you might have to, to adjust. So let's see if we can take this apart real quick. Let's see if we can do this quick without it all screwing up. Now, normally I can't do these type of things because, because nothing ever works for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Does everybody understand what I mean? And I'm not going to use goo gone in here, Robert. So don't worry about it. Okay. Because I know he doesn't want me using Goo Gone, so I won't be using Goo Gone on the um, the circuit. I just want to sand it down a little bit so that it makes contact. So you're gonna look. We're gonna look at the circuitry of 1980, okay? Okay, so now these are the two switches. So this is the one switch that is the switch for your manual control. And you might want to just move these up a little bit. Now this one works fine, but we had a guy saying that his little switch isn't working. And so what might not be connecting are these two brushes not connecting with this let me turn this over now all these screws are going to go flying around so let me see if i can do this without losing the screws oh look at the circuitry in this thing isn't this cool let's shake those uh screws off all right so this is the inside let me get these screws. all right so these two little brushes here this is what's sliding across see look See, this one is, is the circuit for manual, and that one is for, for auto. So when you slide it, it's going to connect there, or it's going to connect here. And this is what might need to be cleaned off, okay? And you know what's good for that? You know what's good for that is Goo Gone. <laughs> Goo Gone is good. And, and just put it, just drop a little bit on that. You said you weren't going to do that. I wasn't. Okay, a little bit. Now, where's my paper here? Right here. We want to clean that off real quick. Get it all, get it all cleaned up. But we want to clean that circuit. All right. Now this one is working, but my friend uh, from Wisconsin or, or Minnesota said his wasn't working. Okay. So this is the circuit. This is 1980 technology. Look at all the mechanisms in this thing. The springs. Okay. So you have to set this at zero. And then these, this is all your circuitry here, connecting over to here. It's a very basic circuit, all right? All right, so we've, we've got that all cleaned off. That's pretty cool, isn't that all that neat, all the gears inside there? All the gears, you have the gears inside there. This is all 1980s technology. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put this back together. And the only way to do it is to do it upside down. All right, so those switches don't get up, screwed up. And always remember, everything should click right back. You don't, shouldn't have to force it. Let's start our first two screws here. Let me 
and then this one here this one here now these are the control units for the ghost racer set and i found about 50 of these in a warehouse and uh, these are really good if you want to have a ghost car okay but a guy called me and said his his manual mode his manual mode wasn't working yeah, I am. We're going to do that right now. I want to get this together, though, first. It's yeah. not not together. All right, let me get this all screwed together here. This is the fun. I love tinkering. This is the fun part about it is taking things apart. The hard part is getting it back together. Because <laughs> sometimes it doesn't always want to go together for me. All right. So you could connect this in with any Auto World set or a Tyco set if you had the converter tracks. And just take this control unit and connect it to your track. Now, there's one thing you have to do if you're going to use a Auto World transformer. If you can find yourself a, an old... Tyco transformer, you won't have to do this because this is an old Tyco trans. No, that's not one. Where's the Tyco transformer? I had one here. Hmm. Over there, maybe. Okay. Right here, there are two notches. Here, bring that camera over here. Right here, there are two notches that you have to cut off. I've already cut them off, but I want to cut them a little more. And you need it, and I'll show you why they're there. Because the transformer, it must be going this direction. You can't be going this direction because of the lap counter. So your transformer can be used in different ways in Auto World. It can go this way or this way. And so, but when they made this for the to go one way, this is actually a little higher. And I wish I had a transformer and I could show you where the uh, um, Auto World. Oh, here, right here. Okay, look, you see the, this is the old transformer, this is the new one. You see how the, 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 uh, uh, it's going the, it's a little higher. Well, that means it's only meant to go one direction. You see where it shows the one direction? So what you have to do is cut these little nipples off or you won't be able to get this guy in there. This Auto World transformer. So you stick that in there. See how it goes right in there? Isn't that cool? And then you plug in your, tra your can throttles. We want to get our hand throttles plugged in. All right, so now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set the program to race. All right, so we're going to put our truck here, and then we're going to have the, um, we'll, we'll do the the, <laughs> the race masters on all Mega G against the truck, which will be a slaughter. All right, so now you're going to set the speed. Let's set it at intermediate, and we're going to do, we're going to do automatic. So we both got them at zero, and then all you do is push the button, and his car will automatically go. That's not funny.
Make sure that when you put one of these back together again, you do it correctly. thumbs all day long or you could have fun. Yeah see that's not it's in the way and now my swing is missing. There's my swing. Make sure you get all the components right. I didn't uh, get everything. Plus, when you do a Ghost Rider, uh, you're not you you should not you're not supposed to have a hand throttle plugged in. this time I had the uh, speed control over top of the uh, lap counter mechanism it was it wasn't sliding along here it was sliding on top of here it wasn't making any contact so there was no power to the car so make sure that you when you put it together you do it slowly and correctly so you don't make mistakes like I do okay so power we want to have it going one way and your transformer plugged in okay and then we're going to lap this to zero again put this right here we'll put it about medium speed because that's a an ultra g car ultra g plus all right and then you just push the button and it just go oh it's in manual mode <laughs> let's try that oh there he goes Let's go a little faster. Now I gotta catch up to him now. Oh my gosh, three laps behind. Four laps. Oh no, I gotta catch up. One. Oh no, come on. Two. No, he's gonna win. Three. No, no. Oh, four. Oh, he won. What a bunch of commie crap. Okay, so that is the computer control module. This is from the Ghost Racer set. Um, it's 1970. Or 80s technology, so you need to do a little bit of lubricant, uh, use some goo gone, uh, use some regular oil. <laughs> the manual mode is if you just want to race two cars in a regular mode, okay? If you just want to race in a, a, a person. Ghost Racer is if, if you don't have anybody to race, the car runs all by itself. See? You see what I'm saying? Ghost racer is that you you're you're racing against the car. Okay, so let's start it again. All right, let's set it to zero. You you have to set it to zero. And then you press the button. So you're basically racing against the computer. And we'll give the computer a little speed here. Okay, ready? And see, there's a little flag that's supposed to be here, but we don't have the flag. We're trying to get Ron Gardner to make me some flags. But a guy said you could put a little a dowel rod and little flag on it. Okay, so ready, go. And it's on manual again. I keep forgetting to put it on auto. Uh-oh, oh no, we're one lap at down. Okay, it's lap four. Oh, lap six. Oh, lap seven. Oh, there we go, eight, I'm ahead. 
I won! Yay! We are the champions! Okay, so do you understand? So start is right here. We set these to zero. We push the button. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ahead. Oh. Now we're gonna give him a little bit more power here. He's not catching up this time. I got him this time. Eight, nine. Got him. Yes, I got him again. Isn't that cool? Don't you think that's cool, that control unit mod? I'm gonna send one of these to Auto World. I think they should make one. It, it, it just, make it just, don't call it, you know, ghost, right? Just call it a, you know, a, a computer module so that uh, people can race themselves. You know what I'm saying? Just make it just like this. Make it simple. Just retro, make it. And, uh, well, that's ProTinkerToys.com. Another video, ProTinkerToys.